Hey everyone, Bobby here. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode of SEO Secrets. Today I am really excited to not so much talk about a topic as I normally do, but today uh, more of a discussion. And somebody asked in the SEO Secrets Facebook group, I think maybe it was there or maybe on the Bipper Media Facebook page, but uh, somebody asked if, if I could talk through our decision here at Bipper Media, uh, the decision we went through to, to switch from WordPress to our current website, de- uh, our website development platform that we now use. So uh, a couple years ago, we started um, slowly making a, we started slowly pulling away from WordPress and we started um, experimenting with different platforms and um, and anyway, I thought it was a great question, and I want to talk through that today very quickly and uh, hopefully it 's helpful hopefully it 's helpful to you so um, so first, let me say that uh, that uh, this is this is only our experience um, this isn 't anything that we 've read of any other agencies or what what people are doing why they 're Using, you know, the I know that there's millions of people that build and develop in WordPress. Totally understand that. Um, everything I'm going to share, it's solely our experience. Um, and number two, we are not affiliated with Duda in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Duda is the is the platform that we now use. And, and sorry, I thought I thought I mentioned that, but uh, uh, Duda, it's D U D A. So um, in essence, we've pulled away from WordPress, and we're now. Uh, developing all of our sites on Duda. And again, that's D-U-D-A. And again, we're not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so again, I'm just sharing our experience and talking through that. So, um, okay. So the first place I guess I'll start is with WordPress. The uh, A couple of years ago, we started experiencing problems uh, with our workflow and the efficiency. And I think I think more than anything, WordPress uh, for us became a problem at scale. Okay, so when you just have two or three WordPress sites under management, um, these types of issues aren't really that big of a deal. We never really noticed. I think it was it was really when we started to get, um, you know many dozens of WordPress sites or we're starting to when when you're starting to deal with a very large volume hundreds of WordPress sites under management it's a problem of scale so the issues of WordPress when it's just a few it's not a big deal when you have many WordPress sites these issues really become a problem and uh, and 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 some of these problems with with WordPress they are um, first they're they're notoriously slow and inefficient in in our experience. Even though we use um, WP Engine, which is an enterprise hosting environment on AWS, so in essence, we're hosting WordPress sites on Amazon Web Services. Um, we still have a very difficult time maximizing the speed and efficiency. We can improve speed a little bit with um, you know certain caching plugins, things of that nature, but it seems to just WordPress as a whole just seems to have this this threshold this this max ceiling of speed and efficiency um, and I understand there's developers out there who can do a lot to fix and address that, but again, at scale, when you have many sites under management, it becomes it becomes a, a an issue of efficiency of management um, and then number two the uh, the 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 management of the updates that are associated with a WordPress site. And by updates, I mean plugins, the WordPress database itself. Here recently, we were forced to update the PHP version of all of our sites, and that created a lot of issues. Uh, The problem with all of these different sort of fragmented, um, you know, technologies that go into a WordPress site, the problem with these different like updates is that you may have a WordPress install update, but now you might have plugins and developers that haven't kept up with the updates of the plugin. And then you have conflicts. And again, it comes down to a problem of scale. Okay. So when you have just a few WordPress sites, one, two, five, something like it's not a problem, but when you have a lot of WordPress sites under management, then it becomes a major issue. Okay. So, um, 
ultimately we just got to a point at we just got to a certain growth point where we just no longer had the time or the resources it was no longer efficient to constantly manage the uh the high maintenance and maybe that's the best way for me to describe it at a certain level of scale wordpress becomes uh very inefficient because of the high level of maintenance required okay so so that's the wordpress side now to the duda side and again we now use uh duda we are now official duda partners um, we build a lot of websites very quickly um, in Duda. They're amazing, and um, we are 100% we are 100 fans of this platform. Hang on, sip of coffee. Okay, so Duda. Um, the benefits of Duda. We've I, I've been using Duda. I think for going on, you know, definitely five, maybe seven plus years. Duda used to be a platform where you just built mobile sites, okay? It was a mobile site development platform, but uh I'm not sure exactly how long ago, but they 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 sort of they they started to transform their platform to where they're now more of an all things website development um platform. So they used to just be mobile, now they're all things website development uh desktop and mobile. So um uh, so one of the benefits of the newest iterations of Duda is their their website design side. So the so for the the developer side, um, they have rebuilt their platform using React, and React is technology that came from I believe it was from Facebook. But but basically their 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 design platform it allows you to very quickly and efficiently um, build new websites and you can, you can save, um, you can, you can create your own templates, save sections, the, the team and the client collaboration is just really amazing. So just this whole entire environment for design and development, it's just really unlike anything we've, we've experienced before. Certainly, um, nothing that there, there's nothing in the WordPress environment that, that compares to it. Um, and number two, there's, uh, we, we never have to worry about the management of updates. So, um, the, the Duda side, the, the Duda developers, they're continually, continually releasing updates to the platform. And those updates, they're just, you know, they just, they just release them. Uh, they just release them to the platform and they're now just new features, new updates, new options. They're just available to the developers on the development side. Um, the speed and efficiency of Duda, I think, I think they're just really, I know definitively, uh, a WordPress site compared to a Duda site, there is just no comparison. Um, Duda sites consistently achieve the highest speed ratings um, and content rendering speed using Google's uh, Lighthouse test. And um, the sites that we build, they're just out of the box, consistently scoring high 90s plus on desktop and mobile for speed and efficiency. Um, you would be very hard pressed to find any WordPress sites. Most, most of the WordPress sites we look at, I mean, they're scoring 50, 40, 30, uh, due to sites. They're coming right out of the box in the high nineties with speed and efficiency. Um, again, using Google's lighthouse, lighthouse test. Um, you know, just, just a huge, we, we have zero, we have zero backend platform management. Um, you know, we used to go, we went with WordPress, we went from super high maintenance, a lot of time and resources, managing plugins, updates to now zero, uh, time invested in managing the platform and updates. So, uh, it's really just a night and day experience as, as an agency that builds a lot of websites. Um, the SSL, the HTTPS, um, it's literally one click uh, to secure a site. Um, they just have the license integration right there. So right before, um, or as soon as we launch a new website, it's literally just one click. We set the SSL certificate and, um, and from a design development platform, we're able to build, um, and customize, 
our client sites, both on desktop and on the mobile and on tablet. Um, we can we can customize the design and the function um, and the efficiency um, on each individual device platform. Um, so anyway, so those are kind of it's just kind of a quick overview. I'll be uh, I'll be sharing this episode on our SEO Secrets Facebook group. Um, so head over to Facebook if you're not a member yet. Head over there, search SEO Secrets, join that Facebook group. I'm going to share this episode there, um, where I would I would really love to hear any feedback, uh, you know, your opinion, critiques, you know, your own experiences with WordPress, if you've used Duda, if you've had problems with uh, website design and management. Um, so um, I will share this episode 